let's look at zooming on a T83+. plus. First one we'll look at is y is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6. Well, press my y equals, and I got x squared, so I do max key, x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now this is assuming you know how to graph, so if you haven't watched those videos, you should watch those first. Now press my graph button, and you see this. It comes down a little bit below our x-axis. So we're wondering what's going on there. Well, if we choose zoom, our first one we're going to look at is zoom in. So you see it's the second one. I can down arrow to it and press enter, or I can just simply type the number that's in front of it, the 2. Now it hadn't done anything. It's waiting for us to position our uh, cursor where we want our new center to be. So if I move this over here, this is what our cursor looks like, a little flashing plus. So I want it right there. Now once you get it there, then you press enter, and it'll zoom in based upon where you put that at. That's your new center. Now it's still in zoom in mode, so each time you press enter, it'll zoom in by another factor. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you want to wait till it comes back before you do anything. I'm going to try to get this to hang up. Let me press enter, and then I'll press enter immediately. See the four little dots? It's a going back and forth in the upper right hand corner. This has gone off to never never land. It's not going to come back um, until your batteries go dead or something fails in the electronics. The, uh, it's easy to get it out of that. You just press enter one more time. This will happen to people who are impatient. Uh, if you press enter too fast, um, then it'll do that. Wait till it comes back. Now we've zoomed in so much we can't see anything. If I press zoom, Z standard is how you set it back to your standard viewing window. So if I choose 6, then that sets it back to negative 10 to 10 on my X and my Y axis. Now the next zooming method we're going to look at is zoom box, which is kind of useful. If I choose zoom, I want to choose Z box. Now I'm going to move my cursor up to the lower left, up to the upper left hand corner of our where we want to draw a box. So I'm going to draw a box on the screen. So that's the start of our box. Now once you get it to where you want, you press enter one time, and then you do your down arrow. And you don't have to keep pressing the button over and over. You can hold it down. Like I'll hold down the right arrow key. And see it scrolls over there. This is going to be the lower right hand corner of our box. Now once you get your box drawn, then you press enter, and it'll zoom in just what's enclosed in your box. So if I press enter there, it zooms in just based upon that. So very nice uh, zooming feature here. It gives you total control over what you want to zoom in, which is what I really like, so you know exactly what you're going to get. Now again, to set it back, you do zoom, and then you choose 6 for Z standard. Now let's look at our next one y is equal to x squared minus 400. And if I go back to y equals, press clear, and then I'll do x squared minus 400. And now if I press graph, notice I don't see anything. And I waited until it came back before I started doing anything. Well, we're going to take a look at zoom out. So I choose zoom, and I'm going to choose zoom out, the third one. Now it's waiting for me to position my cursor where I want to zoom out at. And the origin's fine for what we're going to do. So I press enter. See it's thinking. And it comes back. And now I can see more of my graph. Um, if I want to even change to a different zooming method at this point, I could, for example, do zoom and choose Z box. And I'm going to draw a box around so I can see the X intercepts. So I'll put my cursor about right there. Press enter. Go down. Go right. Kind of slow. Okay. About right there. Now the box uh, encloses my X intercepts. If I press enter, then I can see them a little bit better. So again, that allows you to get a better understanding of what's going on through graph using these uh, zooming features. Again, I'll do zoom and I'll choose 6 for Z standard. Set it back to standard viewing window.
There's another way, way to change your window settings. If I click window here, see how it says negative 10, 10, 1? That's uh, what's controlling your x-axis. Well, instead of going from negative 10 to 10 by 1s, I'm going to go from negative 40, enter, the 40, enter, and I'll go by 10s. So negative 40 to 40 by 10s. Now if I press graph, this far left tick mark here is negative 40. This far right is positive 40. And it's going by 10s. So this is negative 40, negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Kind of nice. It gives you even more control than the zooming. But if I come here with window, I can screw this up. Instead of putting negative 40, let me put 50. Notice my x min is greater than my x max. And if I press graph, it's going to give us a window range error. So do enter on the quit. To fix any kind of zooming issue or any kind of window setting that's been messed up, all you have to do is press zoom and choose Z standard. So press 6. And that sets it back to your standard, wind standard viewing window from negative 10 to 10 on the X and the Y axis. And that's uh, zooming on the T83+. Plus.